Okay, fishing fans, this is Matthew Upton at Ross coming at you on Tuesday, July 12th. And finally, we're looking at the ocean conditions overall in the Northeast um, from Mo Cape Hatteras to Massachusetts area. And man, we had a lot of clouds the end of last week. Um, it finally cleared off the last couple of days. So this is this is data from um, the last couple of days, yesterday and today. And we're looking at sea surface temperature first. You know, your greens and blues are your cooler water, your oranges and reds and yellows are warmer water. And finally, we have some conditions that are a little bit better and something that kind of exciting to talk about. What you notice, and we've been, we've been talking about this for the last month now, way out east, you guys out of Massachusetts, Connecticut, even Rhode Island, get offshore. This eddy here has pulled up. It's moving west, like we said, slowly, but it's interacting with the Gulf Stream now. And this water here, this warmer water is 79, 78, 80 degrees right over oceanographer to hydrographer to beach. Um, beach to Powell looks, or well, beach to oceanographer looks really good right now. There's gotta be fish in here. We've had a few reports of some tuna um, in, in this water, but there's a counterclockwise flow here, but a giant clockwise rotating eddy, this Gulf Stream warm, warm core ring that'll continue. Hopefully it doesn't get chewed up by the Gulf Stream, it'll continue to move west. So this is the stuff that we gotta keep track of. And further to the east, look like we have a filament of 75 degree water, some counterclockwise rotation here. And we've been following the last few days, this clockwise, well, we've been following it for a while, but this, this clockwise eddy here off of Hudson and Tom's, is pulling in some 75, 76, 77 bluer water finally into up into outer Hudson Canyon toward Tom's Canyon. Still quite a bit offshore, but there's been there's some marlin in this water. And um, further south, what the Gulf Stream has done the last few days over the weekend is been pushing north. It's been pushing north. We've had a giant um, counterclockwise eddy here. This is this is within reach of the Jimmy Johnson tournament, I believe, for some decent marlin action. We've continued to, to follow this clockwise eddy between Balt, well, off of Poor Man's, between Poor Man's and Washington. This is pulling in a filament of water. This is 75, 76 degrees. But what we notice down here. This is new to us that we haven't seen in a while because it's been so cloudy. There's a giant, another giant counterclockwise Gulf Stream eddy pushing this Gulf, this Gulf Stream up and in. And this becomes a highway for these, a new batch of marlin tuna, wahoo, mahi, into the canyons. And this is exciting because we haven't, the conditions haven't looked that good in the canyons in the last um, couple of weeks, really since after Memorial Day even though the water is still relatively cool for this time of year in the canyon area, 72, 73, 74 at best, all the way up and down the canyons here. Um, this, there's some exciting conditions starting to, starting to develop. So even if we look down here off of Hatteras, Oregon Inlet, Virginia, look at this batch of water pushing in. This is Gulf Stream water, some clouds down here clouds out here obviously but this Gulf Stream now looks like some decent water pushing over the point and up and in way in shore for your Oregon Inlet guys even Virginia Beach it's time it, this these conditions are finally looking favorable and hopefully um are, are productive um Gulf Streams 80 83 84 84 and a half now it's looking like and um, you know, water moving down this way, around this way, up this way, some warmer water pushing in. This inshore water is 74, 75, maybe up 76 down south, up here 73, 
72 degrees. Uh, so, you know, decent for some, some bluefin, hopefully up in the, off of Long Island. And even your Gulf of Maine guys, this water now, 67, 68, 66, 68 at best, it's bluefin tuna. But look at the craziness on this large counterclockwise eddy on the eastern side, one here, clockwise eddy here, another one here. It's just it, it, things are starting to get interesting, and hopefully the, the conditions increase in the next couple of weeks for the rest of July into the bigger tournaments in uh, in August. So stay tuned. We'll take a you know we'll take a quick look at the ocean color chlorophyll data also. Uh, this is mainly yesterday's data. You can see some bluer water. This is this is marlin water moving in. Still a lot of green water in shore, but it's you know it's still starting to clean up a little bit. Um, some dark. Uh, some dark, some dirty water coming, turbid green water coming down off of Long Island. So you probably want to avoid this stuff here um, if you're tuna fishing in shore. Um, but look at this eddy out east. This is this is something to get excited about. This is going to keep on moving to the west. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Looks like off of Atlantis is improving. Um, a lot of blue water. I mean, this is. You can have white marlin in this water even in shore. This is 72, 73 degrees maybe, um, 71. But there's some blue water in shore. Looks like pushing up as this stuff's pulling down. So some decent water within reach off for your Rhode Island guys, Connecticut. All right, so stay tuned to Roth. So um, we'll keep you updated. Good luck, everybody, in the Jimmy Johnson tournament this week. Um, I know there's some some decent sized tuna caught in the in the Virginia uh, or yeah the Ocean City tuna uh, tournament last week. A couple of nice big eyes, yellowfin. So things are starting to look a little more promising now. Hopefully, so stay tuned. Give us a call. Um, go to our website and. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.